everyone. I hope you're doing real great today. I'm feeling real fine. I'll tell you what, if it's your first time here at Cool Magic Forum, do me a big favor and go on down there and click on that subscribe button for me, would you? Uh, it really helps this channel out a whole lot. I appreciate it very much. So yeah, become a subscriber here at Cool Magic Forum. And while you're down there, you can also click on that notifications bell and get yourself set up with the notifications for this channel. I do contests here monthly, so you would get notified anytime any new contest comes out or any of the new contest results, uh, as well as uh, getting notified anytime any of the new videos come out here on Cool Magic Forum. So yeah, good idea. Get yourself hooked up with the notifications. Um, like I was saying, I've got this really great sandwich trick that I've been wanting to share with you guys. You guys are going to want to watch this and definitely do stick around for the tutorial afterwards. You're going to want to learn this one. Uh, but what I would do is have a spectator, if I had a spectator here, would go ahead, just have them touch a card, any card there. Say they touch that one right there. Okay, now I don't need to see it or anything, but I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. Okay. Hopefully get that all in the camera frame and you can see it and everything. Okay, get that all memorized in your mind and everything. Okay, let's go ahead and set your card over there. And, oh, I didn't show you guys. I have to fairly show you. We're going to be using the two red jacks in this. and They're going to be playing their part here pretty soon. i got, the, of course, the jack of diamonds and the jack of hearts here. Okay, and there's no way I can know what your card is there, but in a moment or so, the, the two jacks are going to help me find your card. Okay, I'm going to let them hang out there for a minute. Uh, well, we lose your card. Before we can find it, we have to lose your card first. Okay, let's go ahead and put your card. I don't want to see it or anything. Put your card right there in the middle. And then if I had a spectator here, I would invite them to go ahead and push their card in, square up the deck. And then if you would like, give the cards a good shuffle. Okay, matter of fact, you can shuffle the cards just as much as you want. Give them all mixed up there and make sure that your card is completely lost in the deck. No way that you know where it's at or that I know where it's at. Okay. And uh, then when you're content with your shuffling, go ahead and set the cards down. Now I'd like you to go ahead and uh, cut the deck, but just take the top half off and set it aside. Okay, just like that. Very fair. And oh yeah, I'm going to show, I was, keep saying I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to have the jacks help me find your card. Now I'm going to very fairly, as fairly as I possibly can, I'm going to sit with the jacks, okay, back onto the deck, right in the middle, right where you cut at, okay. See, put the deck, put them jacks right back into the deck. You see them slowly going right in there. Matter of fact, I'll show you how the situation is going on here. Okay, now you shuffled the deck. Okay, so your card's lost either somewhere in this section or this section. And uh, you got the jacks over here by themselves. Okay, so you okay, take a look at that. All right, see what I'm saying? And as fairly as I possibly can, I'm going to square these up. Okay, and then... Just going to cast a shadow over the deck like that. And just that quick, one card materializes in between the jacks. Okay, is that your card right there? There you go. Hey, let's get right into the tutorial for this great trick. You guys are really going to like this one. I hope you like that performance. Um, this trick is entitled Beyond Sleight of Hand, and it is a Darwin Ortiz trick. Uh, so if you're familiar with the name Darwin Ortiz, when I say Darwin Ortiz, you're probably going to know, yeah, this trick's going to take a little bit of practice, okay? <laughs> it's not too ter terribly difficult, nothing, nothing real bad. Uh, the name is a little deceiving, though, beyond sleight of hand. Uh, but it just takes, it takes a little bit of uh, sneaky sleight of hand, uh, but nothing, no big deal. I'll show you what's going on here. Uh, like, like, so you start off, you have to remove the two red jacks. I like using the, the red jacks or the black jacks. You know, uh, if you've seen this channel before, I like having the jacks find cards for me. So using the two red jacks on this one, you remove those from the deck. And then what you would do is have a spectator go ahead and just touch a card. Okay. Now say they touch this card right here. You're going to take the card next to it, align it right there with that okay and then push up okay and then when you go to show them that you're gonna you're gonna steal away you do it after you've done this you're gonna steal away that card okay so you have one card on top of the chosen card okay on top of the card that they touch then you're just gonna show it like that okay show them there's your card 
Okay, get your card all in your mind and everything. Okay, you want to make sure you keep that square and everything. I keep flipping my hand back and forth. It's easy to flash it. There's a card behind there. But yeah, uh, just uh, yeah, we show them. Okay, make sure memorize that card and everything. Okay, and you push that down. And of course, lay down the top card there. Okay. And uh, then you just return those cards onto the top, of course. Now you have their chosen card on the top of the deck. Okay. Just a random card over here, okay? Now everybody knows that's their card, that's the chosen card is over there, okay? And this is the part that I think is kind of funny because I know a lot of you were watching this trick and you know when I was loading, you know, you're just going to do a normal sandwich load there. So I know a lot of you saw that and said, oh, there he goes, there's, there's Cuz loading the uh, sandwich right there. But then I, I know you got to be thinking in your mind, but wait a minute. How is he? There's the chosen card over there. He's not loading the chosen card. What's going on here? And this is what what is going on. Okay. Uh, yeah, you would show him. You have the uh, the two jacks here. But I I just did a I did a scoop up here. Uh, I got the two red jacks there. Okay. And I scoop them up here. Square. It gives you a little bit of a break there. When I push up with my thumb, I just bring it up like that. Square them up there. Okay. So I've got the Jack of Diamonds and the Jack of Hearts. Okay, now the big part of the effect is done. The sandwich, This is a sandwich trick, and the sandwich is now completed. Okay, it's done. Okay, from there, we push them back together. Good idea. Give them a little bit of a, little bit of a bend. Okay, this way and that way. Okay, a little bit of bend that way. Okay, that'll help them when they sit down here to uh, conceal that there's actually three cards there instead of two. So yeah, when you're telling them, now there's no way that I know what this card is, what your card is, but uh, it will have the jacks chill out right over there, have the jack, jacks hang out there. Well, we get your card lost in the deck. We have, still haven't done that yet. Okay, and so you place their card about in the middle of the deck. Uh, like I said, if I had a spectator here, I would have them square up the deck, and then if they want to, go ahead and shuffle the deck. Uh, now, this is where it changes from the performance. Uh, that I did because I went ahead and shuffled the deck. Now normally you would hand the, the deck off to the spectator and they would begin shuffling the deck. You're set over here, okay? All you got to do is pick up your two jacks over here with the chosen card in it. Slide the bottom jack over and just slide it over. Don't take the other one with it, okay? Just slide it over. It doesn't have to be real, real far or anything. You don't want to go too far with it, okay? And you're you're set. You're ready for them to Finish shuffling the cards, and when they show up, finish shuffling the cards, then you'll say to them, okay, now I wanted to have you cut the cards, just, but just take the top half and set it aside, okay? And then you'd say, okay, now I'm going to place the jacks back in the deck exactly, or put the jacks into the deck exactly where you cut at, rather. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put them over here, pinch this. Now remember, I've got the chosen card underneath here. Okay, and then you, you're going to pick up this part of the deck, and you can, st just to give yourself that little bit of cover, when you're sliding it over, you're, this is, see what's going on back here? I'm pushing this out, I'm pushing out the chosen card, just literally pulling it out with these fingers here, okay, and when you square it up, even, gives you a little bit more time when you square it up, push that out. You're just going to push it out. You don't even have to push it that far. But maybe about, you know, a little bit more, a quarter, quarter to halfway out, you want to push the chosen card out. Okay, that's all going on underneath your hand. So, you got, you obviously, you know, use your pinky as a guide. You don't want it going past your pinky and flashing or anything. But, uh, yeah, you just slide that out. Okay. And then this is the best part. You get to fairly show to them that way. Okay, see, when I spread the cards, okay, you see what, what we're looking at here? Okay. That card just dove underneath there. You're cleanly showing that there is no card and saying, okay, you shuffled the deck, so your card must be either in this group of cards or in this group of cards. And, uh, well, what we know is we have your card is either lost in this group of cards, this group of cards, and we know that we have the jacks in the center face up. Okay? There you go. It's totally hidden. Now when you square up, and say I'm going to square up just as fairly as I possibly can and when I snap my fingers and spread the deck one card materializes in between the jacks see it's squared up back there with it now the chosen card is right there in the middle of the jacks okay good trick okay takes a little bit of practice okay uh, rewind the video and watch that a little bit uh, 
like I said, very deceiving trick. I know even some of you thought that you knew what was going on there. You know, you had to take a minute to figure this one out, okay? Especially when you get to show the jacks cleanly like that, and then the next second you're spreading the deck again, and there's a card in between them. Okay, beautiful trick. Beautiful, strong, powerful piece of magic. You guys do learn that one, okay? Uh, we got to get into the contest before I get out of here, though. I've got my cards over here that we're giving away during the month of April. Um, I've got two red decks of the Russell and Morgans that are up for grabs this month. One winner is going to win those. Another winner is going to win an entire brand new four-pack of bicycle playing cards, okay? Uh, to get in on the contest, first of all, you got to like this video, okay? And you give, like I said before, you have to be a subscriber to Cool Magic Forum. And then every video, I ask a question, and to get qualified into the contest, you also have to leave your answer to the question I'm about to ask you down below in the comment section. And you guys have always been doing great at that. You guys have been doing fantastic at the, at the uh, questions and answering those. I have a great time answering back with you guys and a lot of fun. you got a lot of great answers, man. You guys are great at that. I love ans asking these questions. The, and the question I'm going to ask on this video is which do you prefer when it comes to card tricks? Do you prefer more parlor type magic, table type magic, or more street type magic. Okay, now let me define. This would be more of a parlor trick. Okay, definitely. This would be. A, this is a great parlor trick. Okay, uh, more of a street card trick would be the invisible deck. Would be two card money here and there. Those tricks. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which do you prefer? Which do you like to watch the most? What do you find uh, really powerful? The, you know, good good table magic, or yeah, like I said, the close-up uh, street-style magic. Which do you like the most? And uh, maybe you can give me a couple of examples of, of, of tricks that you like the most that are parlor-type magic and maybe some of your favorite uh, street-type magic ones. Okay? I'll do that, and uh, that'll get you all qualified into the contest to win either the four-pack of bicycle playing cards or two decks of the Russell and Morgan deck, or playing cards, rather. Uh, so, yeah, do that. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Oh, one more thing I was going to bring up to you guys. If you guys have stuck around to the end of the video, if you want to go see something really entertaining, go back to my ambitious beer video and look down there and see where Brian Bar Brushwood, that Brian Brushwood actually commented underneath one of my videos, under the ambitious uh, beer video. So go look that one up. The ambitious beer video where Brian Brushwood commented underneath that video is uh, made my day. But I just wanted to bring that up so and bring that to your attention. I don't know if a lot of you guys noticed that, but uh, check it out. Definitely check that out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this trick and I will see you in my next video.